everybody, I'm Tony, and this is it. This is my last video for 2018. It is December 30th today, and I cannot believe 2018. Wow, this is this is the last year before I hit 50. Okay, I remember growing up thinking just the year 2000 we were gonna have flying cars and. If you ever saw the Jetson, I know I'm aging myself, but you figured we'd have like Rosie the Robot and I could hit a button and food would just instantly show up like that. Although microwaves are really cool, but it's so different than what I thought. In a lot of ways, things have stayed the same and other ways things have just gone like, wow. I never would have thought of the internet. I never would have thought of YouTube. I never would have thought of half the things we have. If you would have told me that you would have a phone with you constantly that lets you get information like that, I would have told you you're insane. But it is one of my favorite things in this world. I always say that if I was stranded on a deserted island, I would want internet access and Google and I could do anything, pretty much. So, last video of the year. I've been trying to figure out what am I gonna do a video on? There is just so much I can do a video on. I had no idea. Should I do like a video year end roundup? Should I do my high point? Should I do my low point? I don't know. And to be honest, I don't know where I'm going to go with this video. But one thing that I've talked about on multiple videos is my whole year of accountability. And I was like, you know what? I really should tie it back to my year of accountability. Two years ago in 2017, um, at the beginning of 2017, I decided to start doing a year of accountability. Instead of doing resolutions, you know what? Do the year of accountability where you choose one thing, at least one thing to work on throughout the year, but you have to be accountable. One thing in our lives that we do is we say, oh, I'm not this because of that. I'm not this because of that. We always do these outside sources that we blame and Honestly, sometimes yes, sometimes that is the case, but a lot of times it's something within ourselves. The first year it was losing the weight and I basically had to look at myself and say, okay, why do you have this problem? Well, you know what? A lot of it was my doing. I had to face up to it. I had to admit it to myself, which is one of the hardest things you can do. But I've learned that once you face that and admit it to yourself, it's a lot easier to work on it. The second year was my financial picture. And so I really stepped back. What do I need to do to fix this? And I did a promotion at work and that took me to where I wanted. This year, it's kind of a combination of the past two years. I'm going to be working on my health. I'm going to really get into keto and just do it better. Cause I realized, you know, I have been honest on here about how I have been having cheat days. I have been doing this. And I'm starting to really feel it in my body. I'm still at a good weight for myself. I still feel good. If anything, I fit into my clothes better now. But because I've been eating flour and the sugar, the inflammation is coming back to my body. And I hate that. So I'm going to hold myself accountable. I'm going to go into this full force. The good thing is I have people in this house who are doing keto. That helps a lot. And I'm going to, I've had an idea this past year. I want to bring out this creative side in me and this YouTube channel is part of that. And I realize I love it. I love being creative, but I actually want to start doing something creatively with my hands. I want to, I want to create, physically create something. And I've talked this over with some people and I think yeah, no, I know this is a year that we are going to make this happen. I think it'll be good for me in my well-being. It's going to help me give that outlet. And this is something eventually I would like to make some money on. And we'll see where it goes. But I think one big thing that I've learned in 2018 is how important it is to be there for your loved ones, to kind of have that love and show it to one another. Uh, these past few years, I have learned that I am actually a lot stronger than I thought I was. You know, I've been raised with a sense of empowerment, especially female empowerment and female positivity. And I'm that type of person that's like, okay, well, what are we going to do about it? Let's do this. But 
these past three years, I've had things happen to me that really have tested that. And usually when we have a test, we're like, okay, if I can just get past this, then I can really put my actions into effect. But what I realized is when bad things happen to you, that's when you should take all this training, all this knowledge that you have, and that's when you need to put it into effect. Because, you know, we learn techniques on how to relax and that sort of stuff, but when bad things happen, that goes out the window, and it's like, okay, I'm just going to get past it. And I'm going to use those relaxation techniques for when I'm calm and things like that. But no, you need to use that stuff when it's crunch time. Okay. I think to me, a way a person reacts during crunch time really says a lot about their personality. And I've been trying to work on, you know what, don't stress out. Don't go crazy. Just really take notice of what's going on and do something about it. And try to stay calm. Right, to stay calm. That is really hard to do, but I've been working on that, especially these past six months. I have been working on that and I'm getting a little better. I'm not exactly where I want to be, but I am working towards that. This is the year where I realized, you know, I was becoming a version of myself that I did not like in certain situations. I was becoming, in a way, bitter. I was this mean version of myself was coming out and I realized it was a situation I was in and I did not like that. And I decided I was going to change it and I did. I changed what I was doing. I tried something new and I'm trying not to let myself get back to that. I'm trying to realize, okay, can I deal with this? Can I change it? Yes, I can. Okay, then what do I need to do to change it? And if it's something that's out of my realm, you know what? I'm, I'm not going to worry about it. It's not my job. It's not my responsibility. I'm going to focus on this because my husband always laughs that I'm always trying to change the world. I'm always trying to save people, which, okay, I acknowledge that. But I realize I need to focus on myself. I need to focus on those around me. I can't try to change the world if it means I'm going to neglect neglect everything that's in my home, that's in my family, that's with people that I love. And so that is what I am working on. I am, I am working on that. But this year was really hard because I had some really great highs and I had some really bad lows. And one of the scariest things that happened to us is that we had a... My daughter was hospitalized. She was hospitalized and it got really, really bad. And I, it was just, it was scary. It was scary. But what we did was that we all were there for each other. We all got through it. And it really drove home that message of we are a strong unit when we rely on each other, when we are there. You know, you can't walk here. Let me help you walk. You know, and that goes vice versa. I have to learn that there are times where I cannot walk. I need to let others help me walk until I get to that point. And I'm extremely lucky that I have so many great friends and I have such great family that are there for me. You know, they are there for me and I try to be there for them. One thing that my mother has taught me that is that it's important for me to be a strong person, but it's also important for me to admit when I need help and to accept that help. There are times, you know, we help each other back and forth and it's very hard to ask for that help, but sometimes you have to. And I, I think that's how I'm going to end this video is with the lessons that my mom has taught me. As I have talked before, my mother had a stroke three years ago and it was really bad. And we have spent the past three years coming back from that and we say, this is our new reality. Things are not how they were. And I don't know if they ever will get. But we've learned to appreciate what we have. This message, you know, instead of going, oh my God, why me? Why me? Why is this? Life isn't how it used to be. We have learned that this happened for a reason. We need to take something out of it and give back. And so we do that. You know, when I find out friends, family members have had strokes, it's like, okay, well, what do you need? And you know, we give suggestions and we actually have helped people in that. Whereas the people that we turn to, my mother's stroke um, support group, those people have taught us how to deal with things. And I'm so grateful for 
every single one of them in our lives because they have really helped us learn how to take this negative experience and make a positive out of it. So 2018, taking negative experiences and making positive. As long as you keep moving, it's a good thing. And like I say, I'm a gamer. We just need to keep leveling up. This coming year is going to be an interesting one because it's my 50th. I turn 50. Half a century. It's just, it's so exciting. And I'm at the point in my life where I'm making my life into what I really want. I spent so much time making it into what I thought people expected of me that I realized I need to make it what I want so I can be happy. And when I'm happier, I give a better version of myself to other people. And so we're working on it. We're working on it. I highly recommend the year of accountability. It is very hard to do and it's very hard to actually sit down. What is my issue? And when you come to that answer of, okay, well, I'm doing this to myself. I'm sabotaging myself this way because it's very hard to look at ourselves in a negative point of view. But once you do that and say it out loud, because that's important to say it out loud, then you can start working on it. We're not perfect. None of us are. You know, we're all flawed individuals. But sometimes those flaws help us develop into a better person once we acknowledge it. So, year of accountability. 2019. Here we come. Here we go. Let's see in a year. Let's see in a year if we've actually managed to progress to a the next level in this game of life. So... I hope you guys have had a great 2018. I know a lot of people haven't. It was filled with trial and tribulations. But I really do like to think that we're going to come out better for it in the end. And if you feel like you did, comment down below how you managed to come out as a better person in a whole. Maybe it made you appreciate your family more or you made you appreciate your friends more. Maybe it made you realize there are certain things that you had to cut out of your life in order for you to have a better life. So comment down below, how did 2018 change things for you? And I will see you guys next time and happy new year.